Hi all, welcome. I am Hedda KS, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, is an IT Adu. We are studying the subject C474, Municipal Solid Waste Management. In the composting, in the microorganisms in the organic materials in the process in the composting in the way and the final product is nutrient rich compost. So in the e class in the way, universal composting. The syllabus is specified, but the out of syllabus is a university course. Inversal composting. Inversal composting is a compostable materials. We have a drum silo, bin, a tunnel, reactor, a container which decomposition. That is why compost produce. Sada composting is a uniform conditions to maintain temperature and moisture. We have forced aeration possible. We have system design different, but we have common elements. This is a typical inversal composting in the input-output flow. The raw material and the input material are organic matter, inorganic nutrients, water, microorganisms. We have a composting vessel provided. Output item is uniform mixture of humidified organic matter, mineral, water, and microorganisms. We have water, heat, CO2. We have output item. We have a composting vessel and oxygen provided. We have aerobic composting example. We have an anaerobic inversal composting. Possible. Next, stages of inversal composting. First, raw materials are mixed. Next, optimize mixture for porosity, particle size, moisture, carbon to nitrogen ratio, substrate complexity, and quality. Then, it's often done before placing in vessel, and after that, active decomposition occurs in vessel. High temperature, in high temperature, rapid decomposition occur and high odor potential. Also, pathogens and weed seeds are killed. Generally, 2-3 to three weeks takes, but it can be shorter or longer and then curing takes place. Ending stage after microbial activity begins to stabilize and pile coals, that is mesophilic reaction. It can be inside the composting vessel in a separate vessel or outside in windrows or aerated static piles. Odorless compounds are not usually produced in this case, generally cured for at least 30 days in vessel. It is typical in vessel composting in the flowchart. Next, raw materials used. Municipal solid waste, sea waste solid, manor, agricultural crops and food waste, industrial waste, logging and wood manufacturing residues, miscellaneous organic waste. Next, what are the advantages of universal composting? Composting can be more closely controlled, leading to faster decomposition and more consistent product quality. Effect of weather are diminished. Less manpower is required to operate the system and staff is less exposed to composting material. Can often be done on-site, saving collections cost. Less land area is required. Process air and leachate can be more easily collected and treated. Public acceptance of facility may be better compared to other methods. It can accommodate various types and amounts of organic waste. Next, what are the disadvantages of in-vessel composting? First, it's high initial capital cost. Greater expense and skill required for operation and maintenance. System may need to be shut down due to poor order problem, lack of available spare parts, or for routine maintenance such as emptying. Capacity is limited by the size of the vessel. So finally concluding this section, the inversal composting is the process in which compostable material is enclosed in a drum, silo, bin, tunnel, or reactor, or other container for the purpose of producing compost. It uses forced aeration or mechanical agitation to control condition and promote rapid composting. So either syllabus included or university course, so for a 5 mark, you should be prepared.